Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 10 of Bala Town, the impossible dream. Our bid to win the Champions League with the club for the first time. Now, I had planned and I had recorded a summer transfer special for today. And guess what happened after part three? OBS decided it wasn't going to record sound anymore. And the whole thing is useless. We had a big thing for the Champions League draw that I'd done. Oh, it was magnificent, guys. And you'll never get to see it because it's all this in basically on mute. So... We're going to start today by playing, uh, well not by playing, by basically a very quick version of the Summer Transfer Special. And then we will be playing Champions League qualifying games, two ties against... It's Astana. We got Astana. We are going to Kazakhstan. Gary Turpy was correct. We are going to Kazakhstan in early July to play the first round of the qualifiers. Now, let's have a quick look at the players that we have brought in. Uh, we have a new left back in Jack Kelly. We knew this guy was coming in. I'll uh, we'll click on the name so quickly so you can see. You can see he's, he's basically a left back. He can get further forward. He's okay. Potentially could get a little bit better. We signed him from Newtown, I want to think it was. Yes, yeah, so he played in the Premier League last year. He was relatively good for what was a weak team. Um, so he is our new left back. You can see he's decent. He can tackle. He can pass. He can mark. He can head the ball. Um, he's fine. He's fine. Next up, it is Oliver Dunham. Now, we signed a guy from Manchester United, a young Welsh defender. Now, unfortunately, he's off with the under-19s, the Welsh under-19s right now. Uh, so he's not available for the games against Astana. But he's got all the basic uh, defensive attributes. Maybe not perfect physically, um, but he'll certainly do. Uh, so there we go. We have signed a Manchester United um I wouldn't say graduate, academy graduate, but he certainly, he, he started, and he just sort of dropped out. Owen Taylor, now we knew this guy was coming in, he's a bit of a utility player, can play centre-back, can play basically anywhere throughout the spine. Um, we signed him from Cardiff Met Uni, I think it was, yeah. So he played last year, did fine. Um, for, he's only young as well, so he'll keep getting better, potentially a very, very good player for us. Um, yeah, just a bit of a utility, on a youth contract right now, we will look to give him a proper contract, a big boy contract, uh, when the time is right. Jordan Jones, we signed on a free transfer. We signed him. Now, again, this is more just squad depth. Potentially, he could be quite good for us. Not the best passer of the ball. Um, but mentally, he's not too bad. Uh, you can see just sort of back up in midfield, basically, squad depth. We got him from Aberthwith Town. Um, and again, you can see he played last year and he was fine. He, he's a good Welsh Premier League player. So, uh, as I said, maybe not in the Champions League, but certainly in sort of the run-of-the-mill uh, league games, he should be fine. James Waite, we signed a player from Cardiff. Um, very, very good, well-rounded player. Can play in a number of positions, which I like. Uh, midfield or further forward wide. He can play as a striker. Finishing's not the best, though. Um, but yeah, mentally, he's really good. Technically, he's fine. Physically, he's fine. So I think he's going to be a valuable player for us. Um, I don't know if we can get him permanently sort of beyond this season, but... We'll certainly try, won't we? Uh, two other late guys that have come in here. Alec Muddy Moo. Uh, again, just midfield uh, depth. We've got him on a free transfer. He can play centre-back. And I actually think there is a centre-back there. Um, so we might look to retrain him in that role. But he's potentially quite good. Zimbabwean international. I uh, was at Stefan Druids last year. And he's been there for a few years. He did fine. Again, another one that's a good, solid Welsh Premier League player. Um, and I think will do a decent job for us uh, when we need him. And the last one here uh, is Kane Lewis. Very much uh, sort of just a backup, both sides, left and right back. Um, we got him on a freeze on £100 a week. He was from TNS last season. Again, he did fine. Um, it's just sort of, these are just, a lot of them are solid, just solid Welsh Premier League players that we can hopefully uh, establish ourselves as the sort of the class team in the country. Now, if we have a look at players that were released to see who, who left, Valentine ended up leaving. Uh, I would have liked to have perhaps kept him as a backup, but he wanted to be a coach as well, and he's not a very good coach. Uh, Ashley Morris ended up leaving. Um, you can see everybody there that has left. Uh, Hayes left, Jones, Pearson. Yeah, pretty much everybody that left that was going to leave. The only person that we do still have is Horwood because he's st still possibly our best left back. So um, he's sort of here on a non-contract, which we're still paying £300 a week, which is a little bit more than I'd like. But there we go. Now let's have a quick look at finances. You will notice the finances are quite uh, healthy. And the reason for that is, look at the sponsorship deals that came in for us. Um, about 80 odd grand a year now we're making, which is fantastic. So we've got shorts, general sponsors, kit sponsors, back of shirt, continental sponsors. Um, given that we're playing Astana, that may just be a one game thing for them. Uh, but additional kit sponsors as well, main kit sponsors, uh, which is good. Sponsorship was somewhere where I think we were lacking last year. So we've got that. 
Um, yeah, and that's good. That, that, that really helps us. Wages are not too bad. You can see we've actually lowered the wage bill, despite, I think, improving things. Um, so that is, that is very good news. One thing that isn't good news, if we go to injuries, we have lost Serafino five to seven months with a broken leg. Unbelievable. In a friendly against Chester, um, yeah, I mean, we won the game 7-0 and they broke his freaking leg. So that's a massive, massive loss for us because Serafino is a very, very good player. And, yeah, I mean, we can't really replace him. And we're, we're without him until probably Christmas time. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to throw it out there, we're probably going to be out of Europe at that point. So, oh, that really, really, really sucks. But anyway... Anyway, let's have a quick glance here at how um, preseason has gone as well. I should have been hitting back here so I can get to the match preview screen in a second here when we need to. Uh, there we go. So this is how preseason has gone. Uh, we've warmed up with a lot of defeats. We lost to Wrexham. Actually, we had a game before that, I think, didn't we? Yeah, so we had uh, a friendly against Port Vale, which we won. Um, we came back in June for friendlies. That's, of course, that's how early we had to come back. So that was fine. 3-2 uh, two, two there. We lost to Wrexham 1-0, which is this one. Smash Chester, uh, which was nice. Uh, you can see there all the goal scorers. Liam Edwards, of course. We've got to remember we have this guy back. We signed him last season. He couldn't play for us because of um, us being a, the third team of the season of, of, uh, of the season that he would have played for. So uh, we do have Liam Edwards. So that's effectively a new signing, although he's not necessarily a new signing. And the other big piece of news, actually, is we did get Reese Williams back on loan for the season as well. So that's absolutely huge. We could have a... Liverpool and a Manchester United defender making up our center out will be wolf when they're both uh, fit and available making up our uh, defensive duo we then lost to Shrewsbury which was a bit of a shame and then in the perfect warm-up for a Champions League uh, tie we lost at home to Trolley so there we go things are going well that was more of a backup team but even if you take we lost away to home to Shrewsbury as warm-up for the Champions League tie um it's not great <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. All right, let's go and have a look at what we're up against here in Astana. Uh, let's, I think that's pretty much everything caught up. Again, massive apologies that uh, the, the summer transfer special didn't happen. But we'll try and make it up for you with a Champions League qualifying tie. We are not the favourites for this one, which is hardly surprising. Uh, we're up against a Roman Gora Chuck coach team. I mean, look at that. He is by far my superior as a manager right now. That is, yeah... I mean, and Astana is good. We've seen them in Champions League group stages recently. They're a balanced, direct playing style. Analysis report here. We know absolutely nothing about them. If you have a look at their team selection news here to see what, uh, what we're up against, there's no real names there I necessarily recognize. Um, so that's maybe something. Uh, Yathanak is there, of course. Well, not of course, because you didn't see what I recorded earlier. Uh, so he may come in for this one. Vidovic, do we recognize that name? Um... I mean, they're, they're still a much better team than us, but maybe we can maybe we can sneak a result here away from home and just keep things alive for the second leg. So this is the team that we're sending out the heroes for our first ever game in the Champions League, Lynch. Alex Lynch is the goalkeeper. Uh, Kelly gets his uh, competitive debut at left back, uh, along with Simone Ray. They have to play him because we don't have... We don't have Denham. Uh, Reese Williams, obviously, will continue as the centre-back and Nichols at right-back. Romario Vieira... He has come under interest. We've got had bids from English clubs, very small bids. So we put a hundred grand price tag on him and he's happy to stay for now. Uh, we're going to go with Gosset uh, in midfield, the assist machine from last season. And uh, Henry Jones, who is, despite playing most of preseason, extremely unmatched sharp, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, to be honest. Molyneux comes in to be the inside forward on the right. Nato, he plays as a winger on the left. Bassam Brew, the goal machine that was for us last year. He goes up top. We have the opportunity on the bench to bring James Waits on. Also, Edwards uh, is on the bench, along with Venables, who did stay for another year. Um, Venables, is, Venables and Gosset is very touch and go who I want there, but Gosset just is an assist machine. Muddy moves on the bench, along with Hallwood, who is still at the club. Um, and let's pray to Jesus we don't have a defensive injury, because otherwise Spittle has to come on. Uh, and Preston, who is our backup goalkeeper for this year as well. They're the heroes. I can't put this off any longer. Let's go to Astana. All right, and look at that formation. Three strikers. Yathanak does come in. Please stuff up for me, Mille. Um, I wasn't expecting that. 
three strikers, eh? All right, uh, what do we say? There's no real pressure on us here. We're the underdogs. Let's go out there and cause an upset. I like that. Come on. Let's let's go, boys. Let's get out there. Everybody's look at that. Everybody's... Oh, 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 it's a good team talk. It's a good team talk. All right, well, we're waiting for this to get underway. First things first, a massive, massive thank you to a new Patreon supporter of mine, Gary Turpy. Thank you so much, mate. Greatly appreciated. Um, as I always say, Patreon is not expected, but it is tremendously appreciated. There is a link in the description if that's something that you're interested in doing. Um, but, oh, work to do here. Can we get that away? Um... Yeah, and the other thing too, and I, I keep, I, I need to do this more often, I keep forgetting to do it, is uh, the goal of the season competition for last season at the end of last episode. If you haven't voted on that yet, go back and, and have a vote. At the time of recording, Henry Jones's goal is winning with 50% of the vote. Um, so congratulations to him. Currently, he has the goal of the season from last season. Uh, i tell you what, we're almost through our first half here. We're looking very nervous. Let's show some passion here. Come on, boys. It's right before the break. It's... A ball of town throw. We throw it in. Okay, come on. Can we get that? Is there to bust and brute? What can he do? Bust and brute. Crossfield ball. It's Molly New. It's Molly New. It's Molly. Oh, it's Molly New. Was it off the crossbar? There we go, boys. See, we can do this. We can do this. That was. We kept it tight at the back. If we can nick an away goal, I do think we will need an away goal. Um, unlucky so far. I don't want to tell them they were excellent. I don't think we were excellent, but we are nervous. So let's say unlucky. Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Um, well, right, we'll tell the guys on bookings just to watch their step. I, can, I, can, I, can I retrieve this? I don't think I can even can retrieve this. Oh, have I cost us in Europe by a stupid halftime team talk? Let's go out there. Let's give it a get creative. Can we try and somehow salvage it? The body language doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, we'll get away with that. All right, here we go. It's Kelly for Jones. Oh, it's a loose pass. Come on, boys. It's over the top. Oh, are we going to let their three strikers at us here? It's a horrible shot. All right, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. We've got away with that, boys. Come on, demand more. Come on, Kelly. It's there for Neto. Neto lumps it forward. It's in the direction of Molyneux, but it's... no. Oh, we've left a man over, and Lynch makes the save. He was offside anyway. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Come on, boys. Come on. I mean, nil-nil's not horrible, but do we trust ourselves to, to keep a clean sheet at home as well? It's early season. The thing is, is that they're going to be better for this run out, aren't they? Go on, Yadanak. I can't not love the man. Come on. Oh, we, oh, could we have nicked that? That we've gone over the top. Can we get a block in, please? Not a penalty. Oh, to the area, and it's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's that hurts us, doesn't it? That really does hurt us. Show some passion, boys. Come on, let's get back to them. Um, We haven't done a lot wrong, have we? We haven't done a lot wrong. We just didn't close him down quick enough. Now, what we don't want to do here is fall to pieces. Uh, corner comes in. Back post, and it's 2-0. And that makes it difficult, doesn't it? All right, so we're going We're going to have to go for it now. Uh, so we're going to bring on Venables. We're going to... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's risky. It's not... It, we've, they've got three strikers, but what can we do? Um... All right, let's look to counter press. It's gonna be it's gonna be a big effort now, isn't it? Uh, is there anything else? Who's not playing well? Henry Jones isn't playing well. Um, do we bring on Edwards perhaps for Jones? Let's put him back to support. Um, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Uh, we, I mean, we have to score a goal now, don't we? There is just no way around it. We cannot, we cannot go back home 2-0 down. That will, that will not be good enough. Oh, Lynch got so close to it. And again, the problem with being a part-time club is that we, I mean, in pre-season, we just don't have time. We don't have time to, to practice defending set pieces. We do, as soon as possible, need to become a professional club. Um... 
Oh, can we give it encourage? I don't know what to do. Uh, we need a goal. We need a goal. So let's bring weight on. Four. Who's not playing well? Kelly's not had a good game at left back. None of our defense has played well. The only one that's played well in our defense is, is the Liverpool defender. Um, all right. So let's take Henry Jones off. Let's bring weight on for him. Um, let's be more expressive. Let's just go more direct. Passing the space. Um... I guess we'll get stuck in. If we get a red card now, it's not it's not going to hurt us too badly. Oh, if we go a third goal down, then that really is it, isn't it? There's, there would be no way back from there, I don't think. Kelly goes forward. It's, it's too easy for them, isn't it? It's just too easy. Oh, and he's dove in as well. They've missed it. Well, I'll tell you what. That one chance from Molyneux, we did have half a chance, didn't we? It's that... Uh, are we... Are we... Are we... I do worry here that we're just going to we're killing ourselves off, but I don't think I don't think two nil three nil makes that much of a difference to us, does it? Oh, we're diving in all over the place. The goalkeeper stood there. It's three nil, and hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. But I think we're seeing here. I mean, we couldn't have got much worse of a draw to be fair than Astana. We they would have been. Much, much easier easier teams to draw. But I don't even think we drop down to the Europa League from here, do we? I think we're just done if you get out in the first round as well. It's not good enough. Well, I should have said it wasn't good enough at halftime. So there we go. Youthful Baller Town come unstuck. I don't think in the end it was the halftime team talk that did it for us. I think, I mean, I think we were just outplayed. We didn't concede straight away. Um... Yeah, I'm sure the Barrytown manager went all the way to Astana to watch Jack Nichols. Anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for the second leg. Let's pray for a miracle. Okay, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We face the impossible. We are 3-0 down at home to Astana. We know roughly what to expect. Well, we just saw what to expect from them. Nothing's changed. One thing we do have now, though, is analysis report, which is sort of a little bit too late at this point. But... We're not even necessarily expecting them to play like this again, to be honest. They, they, uh, it might be a 4-2-3-1, I think it was, that the scouts were predicting. Um, yeah, I mean, there we go. We can see the heat maps there from last time. We should have been maybe defending a little bit more narrowly, having seen that. Um, we'll try and stop them passing out from the back this time. You can see there, long, some more direct passes forward. Uh, this is the team we're sending out. We'll, just, we'll defend a little bit narrower this time. As I said, it's all a little bit too late now, but... It's mostly the same team, Lynch in goal, Kelly, uh, we're going to give Taylor a game at centre-back, Ray didn't do anything, so we'll give a youngster a go, see how he does, uh, with Williams and Nichols, Vieira, now this could be his last game, we are, we did have another bid from Wickham um, in between games there, uh, and he is wanted by by Bradford, Southend and Stevenage as well, so we're going to whack, uh, as I said, 100, I'm thinking he might go down to even like 60, 70, uh, get a 50% sell on fee, and we might even just look to sell him on um, at this point, we have other other positions in there. If he's happy, we'll let him stay. But if he's going to kick off, which he hasn't done as yet, to be fair to him, uh, then we might just look to cash in. Gossay and Jones, we'll keep faith with them. We'll keep faith with Neto and Molly New. Boston Brew goes up top because he's pretty much the only guy we have. There's good guys on the bench, but they're not match sharp. We only had so many friendlies, and I kind of had already picked my 11, and that's who played the friendlies to get sharp. All right, so here we go. They have changed up the way they're playing. So that's sort of more what we were expecting, what the scouts were expecting. Um... At the boo for Oren Taylor in central defense there. We will, you know what we'll do before I forget is we'll take it off of defend narrowly if they're going to play with wingers. Um, what do we say? I mean, I can't do much work than, worse than half time last time. Uh, revenge. I mean, there's really nothing else to play for, is there? Go out there, express. Look at that. Express yourselves, boys. Let's just go and try and show European football because we know all of European football is watching Bala versus Astana. Um... Let's show them what we're all about. We're better than that. We know we're better than what we put at, uh, there in Astana. Um, so yeah, let's let's see what we can do here. It's a real shame. I would have. It's a real shame we couldn't have got uh, Denham, the Man United uh, defender we signed. We couldn't have got him in for this one. Um, oh, I thought we were going to go one 0 down. This doesn't look like our usual home ground. It looks a little bit bigger than that. So I wonder where we're playing actually, um, and I wonder what sort of crowd we get. The main thing to come out of this now really is. How much money do we get? And is there... There is that new UEFA competition. Now, I'm not sure if that starts this season. So, 20... or that be 2021. Or if it starts the season after. 
So I don't know if there's anywhere for us to parachute down into. That would be massive. It would be such a shame to be knocked out of Europe so, so early. I don't know what Neto's doing there. He's nowhere near his man. The cross, His man's got the cross in, and it's 1-0. There's the away goal. Any chance we had is now gone. And Neto, mate, I'm really annoyed at you, actually, because... That, well, you weren't even close. You weren't... He started to go with him. This is the problem. He started to go with him, and then he just stops. It's like, oh, crap. No, that's my man. Beaten in the air. I mean, he put up a challenge. Is that Nichols? Yeah, put up a challenge. He was just not good enough, basically, was he? Um... Yeah, so hopefully there's somewhere... It would be a real shame to have won the league and then be kind of... Be out, basically, before we've even even had a chance. All right, can we get one back? Gosse, decent ball in, as he tends to do. Taylor is there to retrieve it. Now, that's Owen Taylor, the new centre-back, isn't it? There for Romario Vieira. Can he find a ball? There's a good ball for Gosse. Can Gosse assist? That's what he does. It's headed away. They're going to pick up. This is good pressure, though. What are we doing? This is looking like football. Is Wally new offside? No, he's not. We pick up the loose ball. Nichols, he finds Gosse in space. Gosse in for Vieira. Vieira for Jones. Jones. Gosse. Back to Jones. Millenew. Oh, he's looked to unleash one there. Gosse is going to pick it up again. This is excellent pressure, boys. I'm, this, this is this is filling me with hope. Williams. Across there for Taylor. This We're switching the play as well. Oh, this is wonderful stuff. It's there now for Neto. What, oh, he's twisted his man inside out. And what is that? Oh, it was so good until the finish. And then Neto's just basically tripped, fallen on his backside, and everyone's laughed at him. Uh, I tell you what, we've done okay. We have done okay so far this half. Uh, yes, we're 1-0 down, but we saw that. We've, we've showed that we can attack with possession football, which is good. Yadanak, the great man out wide there. Can we get blocked across coming in? It's edge of the area. Oh, what a shot that is. We don't see that in Wales. Um, and that's easy for Lynch. I was, yeah, I'm, I'm really disappointed because I was hoping, I didn't think we'd make the group stage or anything like that, but I was hoping we could go on a bit of a run um, and just sort of build up a little bit of cash this season through Champions League qualifying. But, oh, they've made a mistake. Baston Brew's there. Baston Brew! You do wonder if a Welsh goalkeeper in the Welsh League does not save that. But it's Gosse now from the corner. We've had chances, haven't we? It would be a real shame if we were to go out with, oh, Molly New lashes at one that's well blocked. I do think we deserve a goal. Um, so let's hope we get the chance here. I, I'm pretty happy with that performance, to be honest. They've scored from their only shot on target. We've at least been their equals. Um, what does the assistant say? There's no real pressure on us here. Do I say unlucky this time? This time I think maybe we have been unlucky. Yeah, there we go. All right. Taylor on a booking isn't ideal. Uh, and Gosset on a booking isn't ideal either. Especially because Gosset is not having his best game. Um... I'm wondering if we bring Waite on and try him in midfield. Uh, the guy we have on loan from Cardiff City. Let's give it a get creative here. Uh, we're at the wrong end because we're attacking the other end now, obviously, aren't we? Molly knew there. Nice ball infield for Gosset. Gosset goes early. I don't think Baston Brew was on the same wavelength there, unfortunately. It's been picked up by the Astana defence. And has the game teased us here? What I thought was going to be a Bala highlight. We should get to that. We do. Kelly's there. Brings it down nicely. Lumps it over there for Neto. Brings it down. Go on, Neto. Go on, son. Can he get across here? No, it's been tackled away. Oh, the, the game's teasing us. We're going to end up conceding here, aren't we? Oh, no. Neto's nicked it back. He's... Oh, he's... We're going to concede. You can just sense it. We're going to get hit on the break. Oh, Vieira's there again. We're looking good, and I'm just waiting for the mistake. <laughs> Go on, boys. Come on. Here is this the moment? Is this the moment? Molly New back for Gosse for Jones. Jones for Gosse. Gosse. It's a oh, decent ball for Neto. It's taking him a little bit wide. Can he get a cross in? He can. It's back post. It's Molly New down for Gosse. We have a Champions League goal. It's one-one on the night. We just need four more of those. Is it possible? Is the comeback on? Oh, I'm so happy we've scored, and I'm so happy it's Denny Gosse. Of course, in real life, not having a good time of things. He scored the goal that won us the league last season. And he's gone and scored the club's first ever goal in the Champions League as well. Well done, Genny Gosse. Let's give him some praise. Go on, boys. Enjoy yourselves. Um, all right. Do we want to change something? Get, try anything here? Um, can we hang on for a draw now? That's the big question as the Astana highlight begins. Um, can we get to that? No. Just try and block the cross here, mate. He can't. It wins in. Oh. We're too busy celebrating. Kelly, left back continues. Well, both fullback positions continues to be a problem for us. 
The comeback's off. We're losing 2-1. Let's demand a bit more from them. Um, oh, Kelly. He had the chance to clear it. He's, he's tangled himself up, hasn't he? He's tripped himself over. And just like that, the party's off. Um, all right, so let's make... Oh, hang on. We've got a, a, a highlight here. Gosset from the corner. Can we pick out one of the big boys at the back? No, we can't. And... Oh, don't... No, we can see it again here. It starts to get cruel, doesn't it? We've, we've not deserved this. There is men getting forward. Oh, Kelly is rubbish. Kelly is just out of his depth, isn't he? Um... Oh, 3-1 is so harsh. It's the great man. Go on, Millet. Look at that. Respectful. Doesn't celebrate. Gentleman to the end. Um, all right. So let's make some changes here. Let's give some debuts. So let's let's get another winger on for Molly No. Um, in Edwards. Let's give Muddy Moo a game for Vieira. And let's give White a game for Jones. Yeah. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I, I, I think we've deserved better here. I thought we were okay in Astana, but it's difficult to complain about all the, you know, the goals that we conceded, but we have, we look at that. We don't deserve to be on the end of, of three goals here. This is, this has been an even game. Come on, boys. Let's see if we can go and pull one back. It doesn't look like we can. Our European, oh, don't concede another one. Four one would be ridiculous. Can we get to that? We can. It's wait. Our first look at him as a Bala player. He goes back there for Nichols. Infield there for Muddy Moo. Our first look at him as a Bala player as well. And Edwards again. Our first look at Edwards. Can one of the new boys get on the scorecard here? Wait. Wait. We're waiting. It's Neto. It's a good ball. Oh. And it's a decent save as well. Nichols now picks it up. There's a minute to go. Enjoy it, boys. This is our last look at the Champions League for this season. Hopefully, we'll be back next year. We can build. Um, I am really curious how much money we get. As I said, we need to go professional before we're actually really, realistically going to be able to challenge. Um, we need a bit of a kind of draw, too. You know, there's teams we could have got from sort of Eastern Europe, from the small leagues of Eastern Europe, from Scandinavia. Um, and instead, we've got sort of money-rich Astana. So... I mean, a Kazakhstan team, it, it, sort of any other Kazakhstan team would probably be a decent draw for us. But I think I'm proud of that. 15 shots to 11. Six, I mean, they've scored more shots than they've had on target. That's that's a little bit harsh. I, yeah, I, I thought we were excellent. Putting the result aside, I'm pleased with that, boys. And there we go. I think our team have a problem accepting praise, if I'm honest. Uh, but unfortunately, that ends our European adventure. Um... Why are we having friends? Oh, okay, okay. So we have dropped into the Europa League. It doesn't end our European adventure. I tell a lie. Ah, uh, so there we go. Oh, we got, okay, money in the bank as well. We've received 241000 for participating in the Champions League. Um, let's look at the finances first. That is a nice boost, isn't it? Oh, thank you for everybody who for commenting uh, well um, about going professional. You can ask here. This is it's networking or financing. It's somewhere here. Um, I was hoping to get it into the into the club vision, so it was something that everybody was kind of working towards. Um, but that's fine. Uh, so we do have money in the bank now. That is that is good. That's a big big boost, and we've taken that money away from TNS as well. Uh, let's praise Gosse. He's he's just a good player for us. He's one of these guys that just outplays his attributes. But let's have a look at who we've got here. This is they're Lithuanian, aren't they? Uh, Vasilinus. So, is there anything here? What Any player names you recognize? No, they're a grayed out team. Okay, so we have a game to look forward to now. The second, the champion second qualifying round of the Europa League. So, we'll come back for that uh, tomorrow, guys. We're still obviously in the transfer window. There's still time to do stuff. Now we have a little bit more money as well. You never know, we might be able to strengthen a little bit further. Uh, and our first league game you'll see is away to the New Saints. So we get a baptism of fire in the league as well. But guys, if you have enjoyed that, thumbs up. It wasn't, I know, it wasn't great. It wasn't what my dream for the Champions League was either. But I think we did okay. I think we did okay. So subscribe if you're new. Thumbs up, of course, if you enjoyed the episode. Or maybe just a sympathy thumbs up. Um, because, of, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, for the Europa League. Take care.